unload a valve with the tire inflator. Air from the compressor passes through the strainer, filter and the non-return valve into the sensing tank. Simultaneously, the air pressure beyond the non-return valve is communicated below the diaphragm, which moves the diaphragm up against the pressure setting spring load. When the set pressure is reached, the diaphragm lifts and the governor valve opens and admits air pressure above the unloading plunger. The unloading plunger moves down and the unloader valve opens and lets air into the atmosphere. The non-return valve closes and prevents backflow of air from the reservoir. When the air pressure in the reservoir drops due to brake application or other usage of air, the pressure below the diaphragm also drops. This causes the diaphragm to move down and close the passage connecting the unloader plunger. Air supply to the unloader plunger is cut off and further movement of the diaphragm down causes the governor exhaust to open and exhaust the trapped air above the unloader plunger through the top cover. With no air pressure above, the unloader plunger moves up and the unloader valve closes. Supply to the sensing reservoir resumes.